All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a subscriber if you are. If you're not, you should subscribe. You know, why not? Uh, you got nothing to lose. Also, we have Patreon if you want to help uh, the channel uh, fend off the algorithm. The reason I say that is because... <laughs> Again, 77,000 subscribers and getting 2,000 views on a good day. So I need your help. Uh, I know why this channel is in the situation it's in. Um, so anyway, there's YouTube memberships, there's Patreon, and uh, there's also Buy Me a Coffee, which is very helpful. Say so you just want to do a one-time donation to the channel, uh, you can buy me a coffee or two. Depends on uh, how generous you want to be. All right. So before we get going on this Steven Tyler thing, it's kind of breaking news. It's good breaking news or it's not. No, it, I'm just kidding. Um, if I say it's good news, people are like, all right, I want to hear something negative. <laughs> this, and, you know, you can, you can gauge this stuff. You can look and see, all right, all the videos I do where I'm outraged about something, People are watching those videos. So if I'm putting out the good news, right, I'm not talking about the gospel, although I would say the gospel is the good news. Um, people are just, okay, whatever, man. Uh, I'm going to go over to another channel and, and see what they're yapping about over there, which is fine. Okay, so before I get to Steven Tyler, uh, this band here, Royal 10 is the name of the album. Uh, maybe they should have you know, swapped out um, the album title with the name of the band here. The band is called King of the World. And, um, you know, I'm going to be talking about Aerosmith and the Black Crows. Uh, if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, you should check out King of the World. This is contemporary blues rock, and it's really, really good. It's very accessible, meaning it's it's nice on your ears. But these guys, they they play all of the cool stuff, right? Uh, great keyboards, um, just great guitar licks all the way through. And they're not from the United States, which I guess makes sense. Um, these guys are from the Netherlands, of all places. And I have no idea how I stumbled on this a couple of years ago. But I've been following their work for, I don't know, five or six years now. King of the World featuring the should have been hit song, uh, Money Talks, right here. So... There you have it. Check out Money Talks by King of the World. Now, um, Steven Tyler uh, is now the King of London. No, he's not, actually. Um, but he joined the Black Crows on stage uh, yesterday, last night, uh, in London to perform the Aerosmith classic Mama Kin. And the good news is he sounds good. I think uh, whatever they did to his voice um, to get him back to where he needs to be, I think he might be there. And this is contrary, really, to the prevailing wisdom. The people I spoke with said to me, nah, Dave, he's done. He's toast. Um, they did reschedule the dates for, uh, what are they calling that? The Peace Out Tour, which uh, was postponed because Steven Tyler broke his larynx. All right, that's what they said. But anyway, he made this appearance uh, with the Black Crows toward the end of their concert. 3,500 people in attendance, as uh, this is part of the band's ongoing UK tour. So Tyler went over there, maybe just to stretch out the vocal cords a little bit, and they performed the Aerosmith classic Mama Kin, which, by the way, used to be a song when you grew up in say the boston area which i did um you heard mama kin a whole lot you go to other places in the united states and you don't hear the song all that much i'm not sure uh what they're doing in my old stomping grounds these days my guess is they're probably just playing the same crap that everybody else is playing but again these used to be staples of rock radio stations. Uh, you won't hear Mama Kin on too many radio stations. Maybe a good classic rock station here or there. 
uh, if they forgot to purge uh, their library of these old songs that nobody cares about anymore. But there is video that you can watch up on YouTube of Mama Ken, where Chris Robinson is up there as well, taking turns singing the song with a great Steven Tyler. Uh, last month, Aerosmith did announce uh, rescheduled dates for the Peace Out Farewell Tour. I was telling people, I don't know if you should buy tickets for that. Maybe buy ticket insurance or whatever it is that you have to do. The trek will kick off. Trek. They always use the word trek. It's a trek, man. It's a Peace Out trek. will kick off on September 20th at the world-famous PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh where the legendary Mass Massachusetts Rockers played at the start of last year's original run and will include a return appearance at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. The 41-day tour will conclude on February 26, 2025 at the Key Bank Center in Buffalo. Could they just name an arena something cool and not have corporate sponsorship on everything? But it's... It's not going to stop. Um, by the way, they use the word trek again here. Support on the trek will what's trek? Is it Star Trek? No, it's the Black Crows and Aerosmith Trek. Uh, and the Crows are obviously are the opening band. Um, and by the way, their new album, the Black Crows new album, it's called Happiness Bastards. <laughs> Just I don't know why I like the title. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, in fact, uh, I heard they're getting a little bit of airplay with that album over on mainstream rock right now. Kind of like the token airplay, like, oh, the Black Crows released an album uh, that is kind of like their stuff from the early 90s. We might have to play it for a week or two. That's the kind of token airplay they're getting. It, it's it's an abomination uh, what's happened out there in the music world. So like if the Foo Fighters or Pearl Jam puts out an album and they're almost as old, right, as the Black Crows, I think Pearl Jam is almost the same age, right? Um, they get all sorts of airplay because it's all dark and it's not bluesy. And yeah, um, it's just, it's stupid. It, I mean, why can't the music just coexist? You know, it, it, but, you know, if you put it out there and you just let it compete on equal footing, I guarantee you, people are going to start saying, hey, this music over here, the stuff with a groove in it, the stuff that kind of rocks, but you can sing to, yeah, that's way better than this dark, I want to slit my wrists and end my life music over here, which we've been listening to for like over 30 years. I'm just saying, maybe not. Maybe because society is totally, you know, culturally um, in a malaise and has been for quite some time, that the good stuff will just never float to the top again. But, you know, that's why I'm here. I do this channel to help uh, direct people to where to find the good stuff. Here is the good stuff. Um, check out the Black Crows album, obviously. I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the description. You can purchase a copy of the new Black Crows album. But King of the World, if you want to be really off the grid, check out Royal Ten by King of the World. It is a Royal 10. It is excellent with their should have been hit song, Money Talks, and other great songs. Um, but the bottom line here, the big news is Steven Tyler is ready to go. Um, I would still buy ticket insurance, all right? I just have this feeling, 41 dates. Uh, he's only, you know, doing one song here with the Black Crows, and he, he did it well. Sounds like uh, his voice has returned and uh let's pray if you're an aerosmith fan that that continues if you're not an aerosmith fan then you don't really care about this video but i'm happy i'd like to see the boys go out um with a bang i'd also like to see joey kramer back in the lineup with aerosmith right you know they could just bring in a drum track i mean seriously i'm not saying they will bring in a drum track if he shows up, but he should finish up with the band. I, I don't get this. Unless he doesn't want to, um, or there's some other problem going on. Maybe there are just, you know, overwhelming health issues. Let him play a couple of songs and then 
Uh, then he can have his drum tech, who I think is still the guy playing drums for Aerosmith. He can just do the rest of it. So anyway, I think if the band is really going to do their whole peace out, see you later thing, uh, Joe should be there. But um, we'll see. I don't know. It doesn't appear that he's going to be with the band on this final tour. All righty. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I will uh, talk to you soon, though, and uh, pray for peace. Not just peace out. Pray for peace in the Middle East and around the world uh, and in your own heart. And yes, the gospel really is the good news. Just putting it out there. It's good news that Steven Tyler is okay, but it's better news that Jesus died for everyone's sins and you can be forgiven. That's the best news ever.